Hi, I'm Jane O'Reilly, and this is Ageless. I'm 40, and my life is just getting started. I'm here to share real talk and real experiences about how to live life ageless. Nothing's off the table. You know the vibes. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Ageless. And today, we are going to talk about power. Don't give away your power. And Oxford Dictionary says it's two things. One, the ability to do something or act in a particular way, especially as a faculty or quality. And two, the capacity or ability to direct or influence the behavior of others or the course of events. So why did I bring this up? Number one, I had a powerful spiritual awakening days ago, and I'm still vibrating on the complexity and just the majestic quality of the experience. It reminded me of the power we were divinely created with. We have the ability to go deep within ourselves and draw out love and power. And love is an energy. It's an energy. It's we were created to love and it's an energy that's attractive. It only attracts goodness. It's the language of the spirit, which is love. The best, absolute best version of ourselves, our highest self is when we're living the language of love. So when we're vibrating on love, we have to be careful of our environments. So protect your peace, keep your creative space holy, allow goodness to flow inward. The people around you, your environment, will also influence your power of love, especially if you're an empath. So empaths, I'm talking to you. Um, It uses a lot of energy to be an empath, to be empathic. You're giving away so much energy. So you have to be really careful who you give your power to. And you know what? Some people are just not ready to receive the power and that's okay. Listen to your intuition and protect your power. So I believe that an intuitive thought is a gift from the divine. It is direction on what to do next. Trust it. Identify with your spirit. It knows no bounds. It's pure love. Your divine self, your highest self. And when you are operating from your highest self, you're full of power. So power to make the choice from fear to love, which is a miracle, and the capacity or ability to direct or influence the behavior of others or the course of events. You have that power. The power of love is eternal. When we break free from fear-based thinking, um, we are delivered to the infinite possibilities of love, infinite. And that, my friends, is a miracle. Uh, So I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about my spiritual awakening or spiritual experience or breakthroughs, whatever you want to call it, whatever. I call it spiritual awakening because I was just so moved. So a very close friend of mine just passed away, suddenly 32 years old, um, sudden death, and it was a lot to process. I was in shock. I was devastated. Um, Everybody that knew him felt the same way. It was just a huge loss. And my best friend and I wanted to celebrate his life by going to a sunset and taking a little bit of a stroll and taking a dose of mushrooms. So we did that. We set our intentions for our friend Eric and celebrated his life. And it was the most beautiful journey I've ever walked through. I felt so spiritual. I, I just had so many breakthroughs. It really rattled my chains in such a beautiful way and woke me up to things that I, I had been avoiding. And that that's the kind of spiritual experience I'm talking about that makes such a 
huge difference in your life that will be the game changer that will turn the lights on that will shine light in any darkness and after that experience i was vibrating for like the next 24 hours there was an afterglow of pure gratitude because I got to do the full grieving process for my friend. I also was able to access the spiritual part of me that I didn't even know existed. It was magical. I love plant-based medicine. Um, I think it's a beautiful thing if dosed properly. Um, so with that being said, I just wanted to explain why my spiritual experience was so powerful. Um, there are a lot of layers there. I'm still in shock about my friend being gone, but I feel like I celebrated his life the other day and all it did was bring me goodness and all it did was turn the lights on in my life and shine light on things that I really needed to take a look at. And I just got so many downloads and so many messages of where I should go with this podcast even and the people that I want to bring on the show. I I can't say it enough. I love plant-based medicine. I really do. And like I've said before, this is not a religious podcast at all. It I am a spiritual being. We all are. And I really felt like this is a place where we can freely talk about spirituality. And I have a higher power. You can call it creator. You can call it spirit of the universe. You can call it God. Um, there's just so many ways to say something greater than human power. And so I call mine higher power. And my higher power is like a magnet that draws all things into divine right order. And when I feel like my will is aligned with that, with my higher powers will for my life, I feel a lightness, I have clarity, and I have the energy and the power to be lifted above my fears. That's amazing. And I seek peace because my inner kingdom is filled with light. And when my inner kingdom is filled with light, my outer kingdom just falls into place. It's so beautiful. and. As long as I am leading with the language of love, then I am operating from my highest self and I get to seek peace because I'm filled with light. And so your outer kingdom, everything around you will just fall right into place. It's effortless. It really is. And there are, you know, I feel like we run into situations with people because it's a lack of love. I feel like confrontations or situations or issues that all stems from fear and a lack of love. So when you feel powerful in your in your space, if you feel like you're vibrating, there are going to be people that we need to be around that just need love. But if somebody's just an asshole, that's a completely different ball game. We have to be careful who we give our power to. And just remember, language of the spirit is love. And when we are leading from the spirit, we are eternal. And when we are eternal, we are ageless. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Ageless. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Tune in next week for a new episode.